Alright, so we are out with Mr. Oh gosh, Mr. Gunther. I'm gonna see how he he does in his social situation setting, but still listening and his excitement around people. All that good stuff. And it's really important, especially with pups that mark, to get them to go to the bathroom as much as possible beforehand, which we did. Um, so we should hopefully be okay. Definitely seems a little timid. Not too bad though. This way, big guy. Boy. Lots of different smells and stuff. Hey, Gunther. Gunther. Oh, good listen. Boy. We're gonna let him kind of explore and smell a little bit. We just want him to not pull and not jump on anybody. So we'll, those are gonna be the, the main things we're gonna be looking for. We're gonna to try to practice a little bit of sit stay as well as some sustained follow. Get leash pressure right here. Yes, good boy. Gonna try to get his nose again. Gunther, up here. Gunther, look. Gunther, look, yes, yeah, you can tell immediately with just like the change of environment and we almost have to start, not quite from square, square one, but he's, he's definitely lost a little bit of his focus even with the treats now, and that's understandable. The more that you work with him in new distracting environments, the easier it is for him to refocus, especially taking this as his first outing here. Not being too bad though, he's still a little responsive to the leash pressure. Yeah, you wanna say hi? Say hi, Gunther. Good boy. Oh, good boy. That's a good boy. No jumping, big guy. <laughs> good job, thank you. Gunther, hey. Good boy, hey. Good boy. Look. Sit. Sit. There you go, good job. Very good, good job. Yeah, so pros and cons, and that's what I kind of figured, um, is just the fact that he, until he gets comfortable with somebody and excited, he's not hopefully gonna jump. We'll keep an eye on it, but he seems a little bit more apprehensive um, towards strangers. They both are very like curious and friendly, but they seem a little bit cautious. So the good thing about that is just through more good positive exposure and social outings, it'll help them to kind of build their confidence. So especially with little kids that he can knock over, we want to try to set them up early. Gunther. Gunther. Sit. Sit. Gunther, sit. Uh-uh. Gunther. Gunther, look. Look. Yes, good boy. There you go. Good boy, good look. Yes. Stay. Good boy. Just gonna do a sit stay while people are going by. I guess the kids went the other way. Still want the leaves to be as loose as possible, and then just giving him some feedback when he hits a boundary, goes too far, starts going the wrong way. Be looking forward to uh, getting the head halters from his parents and seeing how that helps with their walking behavior, especially when they are fixated on something and pulling. Good boy. Trying to also keep him away from things in general, right? So he's less likely to mark corners and, and especially like when we've got the lawn and garden side of things. Good boy. Yes, just keep a close eye on him. Okay. 
But we're in closer proximity still, but we're having a nice loose leash. Good boy. Just letting them explore. I'm gonna do a couple of rounds of this because him, unlike his brother, definitely seems to have a little bit more energy too. And he just gets a little bit more excited and moves a lot faster. So both pros and cons. Um, I can work with him a little bit longer. He's very interested in the baby sounds. What do you think, big guy? Hmm? What do you think? Good boy. Well, yeah, would you like another treat? Hey, Gunther. Gunther. Oh. Right. Gunther. Gunther. Hey. Good boy. Up. Good boy. Hey. Who's that? See it? Oh, good boy. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Slobber double. All right. Come on, big guy. Go outside here, see if he uh, tries to mark anything. Uh, even on social outings like this, it's a good idea to give him breaks. Um, every 15 minutes to half an hour or so, just walk outside, see if he needs to relieve himself or mark anything. Him and his brother have had upset stomachs, but um, they're kind of getting better. Stool has always been a little loose, and then he's always had kind of the diarrhea since day one. Um, but it's definitely gotten better. They usually only go um, twice in the morning and then a couple times in the evening. nice and loose. Good boy. It's a pretty quiet day out, so it's not too bad. Gunther. there. Gunther. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. What do you think, big guy? You go say hi. Oh, good boy. Huh? Uh, Newfoundland. Oh. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. He's still a baby. He's a baby? Oh. Yeah, like 11 months. Mm. You say okay. hi. Oh, oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. <laughs> how, how many months? 11. 11 months? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so definitely a lot more uh, cautious around strangers. It's so friendly and curious. And you can see how his approach and, and everything there is going to be a lot different from dad and his excitement. So uh, for the most part, we're going to have to continue working on his non-jumping and counter-surfing behaviors just back at home with me. That's fine. I'll try to do another recording on it sometime. I'll set up the camera somewhere and go through it. It's mostly just staying him hyped up and excited. I uh, usually separate his brother too for you know all the reasons of avoiding a confrontation or conflict. And then um, as soon as I get him riled up, he'll want to he'll want to jump, and that's when I ask him to sit or get down. And then I reward him with playing with him. And then as soon as he gets too riled up and starts jumping again, I stop and correct him. And then um, he that way he learns that he gets to play and he gets that engagement that he wants but only when all four paws are on the ground. Yeah, he's doing good so far. He's still being a little responsive to leash pressure, not just pulling straight through, right? He's kind of stuck here. Got this, this way. 
Oh no, let's let's get away from the chemicals. Come here, you. Yeah, see, he definitely still has a lot more energy than his brother for the most part. It's relatively quiet today, so we're just gonna do a couple more rounds. Um, gonna get a little bit more practice in. I'll showcase what we'll do for like a sit and stay. Gunther, hey. So here is when we could really use some more leverage, right? When he gets a scent on his nose and just starts pulling, right? I have enough strength to just pull him back to me, but we need him to actually restrain himself instead of just following his nose and those impulses. Gunther, hey. Gunther, Gunther, hey. Boy, come, sit, stay. And the same thing I, like we were doing out before. Um, this time we're just going to be pretending like we're shopping and looking for things and this is a much more realistic scenario. There's very few times in real world practice when you'll be asking your dog to stay and you're going to be walking like 30 feet away and then calling them to come to you. You know, most of the time when we ask them to stay it's because we want them to lay down and relax or maybe stay at a crosswalk or like situations like this when we just need them to stay still for a few moments so we can either talk to somebody or check some things out. Generally, we're not going very, uh, 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 wait. Boy. Stay. Good boy. And that's all we're looking for. We can reset the sit too if we want, but the main thing is for him to just stay put in the same area and not follow whatever it is that interests him suddenly, which is, Really good practice for puppies in general. Good boy. Yes, very good. So, just gonna linger this out for a little bit more and then, ah, uh -uh, stay. Hi. Good boy, good stay. And that's all we're looking for. We're looking for him to get distracted by things that are further away from him. Good boy, and then redirect back to us. All right, let's go. There we go. Good. And just work on different durations of that. Like I said we can also mix in distance and recall, um, just for the recall practice, really. But most of the time, when you're asking your dog to stay, you're not walking them away very far. His walking is not too bad. Like I said, it's just mostly on those moments when he really catches. Uh, a scent trail and use some leash pressure here to guide him this way. Good boy. So we're gonna probably just do another lap or two and then I'm gonna go and get his brother before the, before the store closes. Come on big guy. Good boy. Doing pretty good. <laughs> Newfoundland? Yeah. Very popular breed. The size and the fact that they're so furry like a teddy bear makes them very appealing for people. Hard to miss this guy walking around outside, that's for sure. We got a good interaction in two actually. We'll hopefully get one or two more. We can usually tell which people want to engage and say hi, and then which ones don't or are curious. Um, but especially with his size, we wanna make sure that he's not too excited is kind of going to be the main tell if we are going to need to kind of have him wait or calm down or refocus on us or if he's going to be okay to engage. Oh, yeah. oh boy. It's a little curious there. All right. So we're going to go ahead. I'm actually going to go out, take him outside, see if he needs to pee. I'm going to pause here and then we'll do another round. So 15 minutes, yes. Yeah, so we'll do one more round. Then we'll go to his brother. Gunther. Gunther. Yes, 
good boy. Got their look. Got their sick. Yes. Good job. Not bad. Neither Gunther or uh, Mr. Filbert here are used to getting in and out of cars, so just gonna give them some time, help them out. It's it's a, only a foot drop, so I believe in him. His brother was able to do it too. It's okay, big guy. Come on, you got it. You got it. Good boy. Come. Come on. It's okay. So it's important when working on something like this to not like force the issue because you can traumatize or scare them more, right? Uh, but having enough tension that it's gonna be easier for him to go forward than it is to go backwards, right? Because if he goes backwards, there's more tension on the lead, but there's when he goes forward, there's less tension on the lead and more, and more praise. Good boy, you got it. Come on, look, it's not very far, I promise. Come on, that's a good boy. Get your goal, come on, let's go. You got it, come on. Oh yeah, I figure I record this process because uh, it took a while the first time too. And then I started filming afterwards. All right, hold on. It's okay, good guy. Hi, come here. I'll help you. Come on, it's okay, come on. You get him right to the edge and then slow him down. There you go. All right. See, that wasn't so bad. It's a leap of faith. I think they're just used to uh, their larger car going up and down on that ramp. Which is interesting because they're okay with steps. And that's not much further than a step. So it's just in a, kind of a mental block, I guess. Um, same thing as with his brother. Before we go inside, we'll make sure that because they're both markers that they uh, relieve themselves. Uh, because he was uh, inside for a while and, and drinking while his brother was out on a session, I'm gonna go ahead and walk him again real quick over here with these bushes and see how he does. What I'm looking for is that when he relieves himself, how much liquid actually comes out. Right? Uh, if there's little to none, then we're good to go. If there's a lot, then I'm gonna let him continue to mark a few times. You can see he's already interested in all the people out here. We'll see how apprehensive he is because he's a lot more sensitive to sound than his brother. Good boy. So a little bit of pee. I just do one more round down this uh, down this aisle of shrubbery here. And then we'll go in. And same thing. I'll just record one one lap. We'll probably do two. See how he does. Just want to get him acclimated and just do an evaluation for now to kind of see what we need to work on or focus on. Um, the main thing that we found with his, his brother is a lot of the ability to focus that we had worked on, even with treats, wasn't there anymore, right? So new distractions. So that's natural, especially for their first time in a new, very distracting place. Um, but that's part of the reason why we want to get so much practice out in these kind of places. The uh, weather is not too bad out right now. It's still definitely gonna be too warm for these guys to be out for too long. But that's why we'll be working in mostly like department stores, or maybe some uh, some parks with some shade or something like that. Early mornings, late evenings. And then during the, the day, um, Philbert's actually doing really good with all his standard drills inside. It's mostly working with his brother and like counter surfing and jumping indoors when we're at home. I just have to keep him separated so that way there are no escalations unless we're trying to work on them de-escalating and calming themselves down. In which case we do that very, very carefully. Alright, seems like he should be good. We'll go ahead and wait for these cars to go and then we'll, we'll try again. Right. Good boy. Wait, big guy. Come on, big guy. Thank you. He gets very distracted, right? Because he has no idea that we're in the middle of crossing the street. He just wants to 
stop and stare at people. <laughs> we'll see if uh, he's a little bit more confident because he definitely seems more curious than his brother. Right, so there's a little bit of the apprehensiveness there. We'll go ahead and see how he does right off the bat here. Hey, how you doing? What is that? Man, I need some oil, huh? What do you think they got? Who's that? Filbert. <laughs> Filbert. Hi. Go say hi. You have pretty eyes. Oh, well, you're, sh you're shy. You're shy. Oh, where are you going? Hello? <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so we'll try leash pressure. Good boy. Yes. Speak. Look. Sit. Oh, good job. Good. Okay, 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 okay. We're still treat mode, baby. That's good. So he's showing a little bit more interest. He's uh, definitely a little bit more antsy than his brother was. It's interesting because usually he's slower and calmer, and he's uh, he's pretty pretty active right now. Uh, that's good. It's very perky. Let's see if we'll. Boy. Uh, so, yeah, tuck him in a little bit. We're gonna try to let him explore, but not kind of get too close to to people unless they want to say hi. And then also want to make sure he doesn't mark anything while we're here. Uh, it's important, especially when he's we're out and about and getting them used to the, the world to not get in anybody's way that's shopping or working or anything like that. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Thanks. Say hi. What's that? He is very sensitive to sound, so. We're gonna try to talk over this as much as possible, just because the music's pretty loud. We might have to actually also put in over my own music, so that way we don't have to mute everything because of copyright reasons, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Good boy. Okay, who's that? Hi. He's shy. He's so sweet. <laughs> oh no. Good boy. Okay, good. Hi. Good job, big guy. Good boy. Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi. You thought about it. Yeah, it's interesting. He's he's definitely curious, so but he's a lot. He's uh, definitely timid. His brother had at least some more confidence to actually uh, approach and um, interact with some people. He seems to be lacking that. We might push it a little bit if somebody is in really interested, but we're not just uh, gonna force it. There you go. So that was good. He was just trying to smell that guy. Hold on, the guy. The boy. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Thanks. Come on, big guy. Go for it. We're in the way. Hey. He's doing good, though. Yeah. So, pretty much just as expected. More sensitive to sound. Uh, a little bit more shy with people. But, uh, him moving faster kind of having more of this like anxious pacing definitely not something i expected good boy hi how you doing <laughs> you want to say hi is he friendly yeah he's just shy good boy there you go good boy it's okay Wow. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Good boy. Hey, you want a treat? Come on. Say it. No. Say it.
Listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. He is. It's like he's all, all amped up on caffeine or something right now. It's very interesting to see. He's been very docile and the calmer of the two for pretty much his entire stay. So seeing him a little amped up like this is kind of good. Also want to keep in mind though, if he is anxious or nervous, we might actually want to give him another potty break outside because sometimes anxieties can kind of cause the bowel movements to quicken and we definitely don't want him to have any accidents inside. He's, his stool has actually been better than, hi, how you doing? <laughs> his stool's, yeah. His stool's actually been better than his brother's. It was almost like completely solid this morning, which was good to see. It's just weird because they eat the same food, but you know, even siblings can have different digestion systems. And he's definitely different from his brother physically. Seems a little shorter. Boy. They're not too bad, even though he is walking a little bit faster, there's not too much additional tension. Good boy, there you go. Good job. Good boy. Yeah, good job. Hi. Yeah, he's actually doing a better job of refocusing too than his brother. Yes, good boy. interesting because I really thought we'd have more troubles with him socially but seems to kind of be doing doing all right definitely opening up a little bit boy I'm gonna go and see how he is here. Good boy, all right, good. So he's interested in smelling and not marking, so that's also really good to know. Good boy, here's the voice. Good boy, have a good one. Can do a little bit more walking out here. It's not, it's not too bad. A little warm still for him. Not too bad. Uh, the reason why is just want to make sure that uh, if he does have an accident, we're outside or can get to somewhere to relieve himself. Still want to do another lap in too, so we get to give him and his brother a break. Usually, with the social sessions with the pubs, I'll do like an hour and. Um, do a 30 minute break but because it because of their their stomach issues and because they like to mark a lot just get breaking it down a little bit more for them and especially since this is their first time i think he would actually might be okay but we'll, we'll see how he does on the second half everything definitely seems very new to him though you can try to get him out and about as much as possible this week. I think he's unsure of that bag there. Yeah. It's okay, big guy. Come on. You got it. Look. See? Oh my god. All I'm doing is this. And he is freaking out. I don't know if you can see. It's okay. Okay. Alright. So that's definitely something that uh, you're going to have to be aware of and really try to get him to work through just his fear so that way he doesn't just freak out and then pull mom to the ground or something because he gets scared by something right whether it's like the plastic bag or the door opening you know we want him to get comfortable in the world around him so that way he's not panicking especially a dog of his size panicking can be a lot more difficult to handle so this was definitely a problem that his brother didn't have that he does have so that's it's understandable it's okay come on big guy you got it you're gonna power through there you go. That was a good boy. There you go. <laughs> no, that's the exit. Come on. All oh, this kind of stuff might be new to him anyways.
What do you think, big guy, huh? It's a big world out there. You know, a lot more social sessions this week. Get you out of your comfort zone, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and cross. Give them uh, an opportunity to go potty again. Come on, big guy. Go, boy. Definitely very interested in people, if not shy. Let's see if we can get him to go potty or anything. Also, might be too distracted. So another good way to kind of take his mind off the uh, environment is to get him to kind of relax and smell things and explore again. But yeah, all the all the sounds and people. A little, a little bit much for him right now. So the goal during this week for him is to try to get him out as much as possible uh, during the slow times and then building to busier times towards the end of the week. Um, just getting him used to the environment so he doesn't panic and freak out. Because he does a pretty good job of listening when he isn't anxious about anything. Um, I don't think he'll have a problem and then with his brother, it'll be kind of more the opposite because his brother is still, oh, car alarm. Because his brother is still kind of confident with everything around. We want to get him used to being able to listen to us and redirect his focus whenever we need it to. All right. Filbert. 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 A little too much out here. Filbert. Hey. Yes. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Filbert. Look. Good boy. Okay, sit. <laughs> Trying to get his attention. Uh-uh. Look. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. There you go. There you go. Good. Good boy. 